Welcome to Cheryl's Home Cooking. Today I'm going to show you one of my family's favorite recipes. So let's get started. Welcome to Cheryl's Home Cooking. Today what I'm going to show you is how I make my Italian herbed bread. I have my oven preheated at 350. In my mixer I'll take two packets of yeast I'll place them in. It's the quick rise yeast. To that, I'll add in two tablespoons of sugar. There's one. to two cups of warm water and the warm water you want about 110 degrees. Now I have two cups of water at 110 degrees. I'll place that in with my yeast and my sugar. I'll let this sit for about five minutes or until the mixture starts to foam. Meanwhile, in another bowl, I'll take a fourth of a cup of olive oil. A tablespoon of salt. A tablespoon of oregano. and a tablespoon of basil. To a tablespoon of seasoned salt. In this seasoned salt is garlic, onion, paprika. So now I'll mix this. And that's what it looks like. Now that all these spices are kind of mixed together and I let it sit for a few minutes, I'll add a half a cup of Parmesan Romano cheese. I'll mix that in. Once the cheese is mixed in, this is what it looks like. So now I'll let this sit off to the side. You can see it's starting to foam. So I'll give it a few more minutes. You'll need a total of six cups of flour. So I'll start off with three. I'll add it into my yeast along with my herbs. Once I have that mix, then I'll add in the last three cups. Now I'll gradually add in my three cups of flour. Now I'll add my herbs in.
the last three cups of flour. The dough will feel a little bit stiff, but once it's all mixed together, I really smell them herbs, it smells good. Once the dough sticks together, you'll see it crawling up the dough hook. Then you'll knead the dough for about five to 10 minutes, place it in a greased bowl, and let it sit for about an hour until it doubles in size. See, it's perfect, it's crawling right up the dough hook. So now I'll shut my mixer off and start kneading my dough. I can really smell them herbs. They smell awesome. This is such a good bread. You can see the herbs all in there. This is some good bread. It's good with pasta or if it, the bread's nice and warm, some butter on it, really good. Perfect. So I'll place a little olive oil on the bottom. Put the dough in there. Then flip the dough over so the top of it's oiled. So now that the oil is on top, I'll take a damp towel, place it on top, and let it rise until double in size. To help my Italian herb bread rise, I put on my heat lamps. So I'll just give it about a half hour to an hour. Usually with the heat lamps, it takes less time. Wait till it doubles in size, and you'll see how good this bread is gonna look. Now I'll spray two baking pans. put them off on the side. Now that my dough has risen, I'll place a little flour. Nice and soft. I'll cut the dough in half because this will make two breads. I'll place it seam side down in my pan. And you want that to rise again. That's what it looks like. So now I'll place the moist towel over it again, put it underneath my heat lamps, probably for another 30 minutes. Then I'll place it in my oven on 350. Once it rises again, 
You'll bake it for about 35 minutes or until golden brown on top. I just put the breads in the oven. It's been 35 minutes, so now I'll go check on my bread. Ooh, looking good. They're ready to come out of the oven. Look at how beautiful that came out. Now I'll turn my oven off. I'll let them sit for a few minutes, let them cool down. Once they're cooled down, I'll take it out of the pan and I'll show you the inside. Look at how perfect they came out. Really smells good in here. And this is my Italian herb bread. So now I'll slice a piece. how perfect that is. See how nice that looks on the inside? It smells really, really good in here. Thanks so much for watching make my homemade Italian herb bread. Give this a try. It's super duper delicious. That looks so good. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next video. Bye bye. Thanks so much for tuning in to Home Cooking with Cheryl and watching me make one of my family's favorite recipes. Please follow me on Facebook under Cheryl's Home Cooking and hit the like button. Pinterest under Cheryl KFL. Twitter under Home Cooking with C. Instagram under Princess 2847. YouTube under Princess 2847. And especially iFood.tv under Cheryl's Home Cooking. I'll see you next video. Bye bye.